Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Um, today is going to be a very quick one. Um, I hope you all are doing fantastic and you're all still safe at home. I know this times may be tough on a lot of us. I'm still locked down. I'm still not able to get any packages and everything. But today what we'll do is we'll take a look at setting up the automations for the telegram notifications so remember last time we did do an automation just for sending a text notification and this time i'll just show you guys how to send a photo as well so or maybe a screenshot so in the last video we did the ip camera thing just to show you guys how a esp cam would function but in conjunction with that i thought maybe i should just put together a automation showing you guys how to send a telegram notification message with a picture of any camera that is listed within your motion eye sets up as well so with that said let's go in and take a look there we go guys so we're back in our home assistant installation as you can see not, not much has changed so we still do have this camera listed it's right in front of me at the same spot um for the purpose of this video let's just uh, pretend that it is at the front door listed as a door camera or fairly similar to that so what we want to do is we want to set up an automation that will send out a picture notification via telegram to notify us that someone has rang the doorbell so not with motion or anything as soon as someone click press the button to ring the doorbell it'll send us a notification to our phone informing us that the door has or someone is at the door now like i've said last time i have my cameras running in motion eye so i've shown you guys how to set that up how to add esp cams in there and if we pretend that the camera is at the front door if i open up my motion eye server as i've said mine is running on a different one because i don't want that to be running on the raspberry pi but you do have the option to add all of your cameras in there and the setup would run exactly the same with all of the cameras that you have listed in your motion eye sets up so the first thing we need to do is if we open up our motion eye the only thing that we're looking for is going to be our snapshot url so if we click on the video streaming right here you remember we have that snapshot url so all we do is we copy this because this is the actual information that we need to use in our automation to send us an actual picture notification now this could be a url to any of your own cameras or um, it's just a snapshot url meaning that this is what the notification is going to send this could also be a image from a website or anything specific you would want to send it's just a link to that specific image so if we go to this url it'll show us a snapshot of the current image so once we have that all we need to do is we go back into our home assistant and then like i've said what i want to do is if we pretend that this camera is at the front door if someone rings the doorbell i would also like to receive a notification telling me uh, with a screenshot or a picture in that case of that person so to set that up what i'm going to do is we go to the configuration then we click on our automations now if you do remember i have set this up previously with the doorbell so all we do is we going we edit the existing automation we already have in here for our doorbell so once we have the automation open all we'll do is we'll scroll down as you remember i showed you guys how to send the automation just to send a trigger through the app itself but i'm going to leave that in here we'll just add a additional notification so in the trigger so we already have the trigger which is for as soon as the doorbell is rang it sends us that notification i'll Give you guys a link to that video where i set up that automation but for this one we can do it completely separate we don't need to have these listed in here but what we're going to do is call a service and then in here it's going to be telegram bot send 
photo. And then once we have that selected in the service data, wow, this is thing is really small. In the service data, all we need to do is we need to add a caption and a URL. And that will be the URL for the image that we created. So let's try an example right here. I'll leave this code right down in the description as well. So if I paste this in here, so that's going to be the title of the message. It'll be someone is at the door and then the URL and we give that URL to the actual picture that we have listed in here. So remember, if I open this up, it'll show us a snapshot of the current stream that we have listed in here. So once we got that URL in here from our motion eye and that's it. So all it is, call service, telegram, bot, send photo, give it a title and then add in the URL. Then all we do is we hit the save button right here. Once we save that, we should be able to execute the script right here. So heading on that, that should send us a telegram message with a photo right there. As you can see, we have the photo that is sent right here. So we can run that again and it'll send an updated screenshot, for example. There we go fairly simple and a quick setup and there we go so that's going to be it for this one guys as i said it's fairly simple straightforward to set up i thought i'd just add it in there because we did have a couple of questions from some of you guys wanting to know how to send an image or how to send an image from a snapshot that the camera may have taken so it's a fairly way of setting up if you guys do get stuck don't hesitate to ask um you can write down in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. I did have some issues with my notifications, so if I do miss some of your comments or if I take a really long time to respond, it's not that I don't want to respond, it's more of like I may not be receiving those notifications and then when I go through the comments manually, I may stumble upon it again. So, but with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week.